Excellent morning, everyone. We're all highly welcome to this morning. <laughs> That's welcome, welcome to everyone of us. How are we? I hope we're doing great. <laughs> wow, wow. All right, so today, like we know, we are going to be looking at five tips for working for people that have very serious arthritis pain and those who want to keep moving because that's one of the things that help you if you have arthritis pain you need to keep moving 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 so we're all highly welcome to this morning's broadcast um, i'd like to just um, share out and then we can get going so if you've joined me you can greet good morning so i can welcome you to this morning's broadcast welcome welcome to every one of us Looking out for those who have joined, so I can greet us and then we get going this morning while I also share, 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 share. Happy weekend. September is moving on fine, moving on greatly. And I know that um, a number of us are also achieving our goals, feeling happy, <laughs> helping others because that's actually where the joy is more the joy is more in giving you are more blessed to give than to receive so when you're giving out you are feeling much more better than when you are receiving so this morning kindly help me share share as the point of giving out to others also hello fumi fumi you're welcome to this morning's broadcast welcome welcome have you shared? If you've not shared, show love now and share. <laughs> show love now and share, share, share. Who is showing love? Who is online? Let's share so that others can join us in this morning's broadcast and actually have a good weekend. And of course, you know, even if you're not having arthritis pain, prevention is better, prevention is safer, prevention is cheaper than cure. So let's um, make sure we, we share, 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 so that we can also help others. All right, the last page and then we get going. It's not going to be a very long one. It's not going to be a very long one. Is the only Fumi that is online with me today. She's the only one that is greeting. <laughs> Hello Fumi, welcome. It's like you're the only one greeting, even though you are not the only one online. But the only one greeting. <laughs> All right, while others join us and while others greet, um anybody that has arthritis let me quickly explain arthritis arthritis is an inflammatory disease and of course we know that there are a lot of diseases that come because of inflammation and of course you also know that so many things can bring inflammation to you like the diet you eat the, the your lifestyle and also the some kinds of drugs that can also bring inflammation so arthritis is one of those diseases that either come by autoimmune disease called rheumatoid arthritis or wear and tear which is also called osteoarthritis and also comes also because of inflammation or gout which is also a lifestyle one maybe the kind of food you're eating like those who are taking a lot of alcohol and caffeine like food okay and there are also other types of um, arthritis that could come from infections I've talked a lot on arthritis. We can go ahead and check it. But today I just want to give us five top tips or six to seven top tips that helps you when you're working and also to help your working to actually impact on reversal of arthritis. Remember that my own goal and my own aim is prevention. That's number one preventing diseases preventing all these things from coming to work and then the second one is management for those who already have it using like natural things to manage 
and then the third one also is for those who already have it also to reverse so that you will not have it again so working is science have recommended working for people with arthritis as a low impact exercise that can one help them to keep their joints flexible help their bones you know health and also reduce the risk of osteoporosis osteoporosis is when your bones are becoming brittle and this naturally happens when one is older so that's why it's very very important for you to also watch it so if you experience pain or you're having stiffness afterwards then after doing all those working then you need to reduce your intensity okay and also find out what what how is happening when somebody is already in pain from osteoarthritis it's not the time to say no pain no gain no what your your aim is reducing that pain so that you'll be able to work very well a very good morning maho we thank god who woke us up this morning yes thank you chibuzo you're welcome good morning excellent morning let's share 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 so that others can join us so if you have arthritis making working part of your routine can help strengthen the muscles around your joints okay and then all around your joints and also to maintain a healthy weight even that's why even for people who have like fingers knuckles arthritis it's always good for them to have an exercise they intentionally do and i've done all that in on my page you can go down and watch that that can actually help with you know all the pains they are having so you can add, choose distance um, ex, uh, walking or you you choose pacing the one that will fit you but making movement part of your everyday especially if you are working at home like me i work from home and because i won't i don't have to go out because of the business i'm doing and the kind of lifestyle i'm living so i must create routine workouts this morning i walked for one hour i've paced around for one hour praying and listening to the word of god my scriptures audio bible for one hour that's what i have done this morning and that's what i aim to do every morning okay so whether it's around your house whether it's in your garden i did mine out there in the patio and when i travel i do it in the rooms where i stay or corridors okay or you're strolling to the market instead of you know driving or you drive to a certain extent and stroll to the market or you know just anyhow or a park if you have a park or you know around your house depending on where you live or if you live an, in an estate walking around the estate but going out being out there with nature as i'm here now and if i look outside i'll see all the flowers in the garden okay in the party and if i move a little to the other side i will be outside and i'll see all the flowers there so i like seeing greens so i plant greens around to see greens it's very very good and if you don't have opportunity to have enough land like those of us who live in the village then find where you will be able to have greens hello gladys Ada. you're welcome to this morning's broadcast good morning to you excellent morning to you so you need to be out in the nature it normally helps so what are these five tips number one every little step helps that's tip number one be conscious of the fact that if you're having arthritis, every little movement, whether it's in your elbow, arthritis you're having, shoulder arthritis you're having, and that's why when we talk about shoulder arthritis, I talk about stretches. As soon as stretches, you can do lying down on the bed as you wake up, sitting down as, uh, and standing up and so many ones. So no matter where that arthritis is affecting you, whether your lower back, whether your shoulder, whether your elbow, whether your wrist, whether your knuckles, whether your ankle, where, you know, wherever, you need to keep moving those places. And that's why I talk about if the places are paining you so much, then you must massage using your aloe heat lotion so that you will be able to move those places. You don't wake up and say, hey, I'm feeling so much pain on my elbow. And then you're not carrying that elbow like this and you're just holding it. You're not doing it good. It's going to get worse. So the best thing is, what immediate first aid can you use? And aloe heat lotion is one of the first. Rub it around that place and do some kind of massage and try to do a little movement. Okay? A little movement as you're massaging so that you can move that arm. And then if you need to visit the hospital, visit the hospital, seek for help. Help and then come and make sure you're doing what you're supposed to do. 
at once. So aim to start slowly. That's tip number one. With a manageable walk every day or movement of whichever part of the body, thinking about what works with you and what works with your daily routine. For example, you can decide to move around the house, okay? Like for those of us who are um, nursing mothers, who are um, housewives, who are mainly at home and you work from morning till night, then find how to, like taking your children to school, if the school is nearby, walk them to school, don't drive them to school. And then walk around the house, okay? Walk out to go and pick them. Or even if the school is very fast, stop at a distance, especially for those of you who are driver. As the driver is, is going there, you walk. You need to build in all this walking routine. And when you have gotten used to walking more regularly, you then can choose to gradually lengthen your walks. Or maybe you could now walk a few more days each week. Hello, Christine. Monica, you're welcome. Christina, Monica, you're welcome to this morning's broadcast. All right. So think about timing also. Okay. Is it first thing in the morning like me? Once I wake up in the morning, I have my Thanksgiving lying on my bed. As I get up, I do my morning routine. I take my water therapy. I take my aloe vera gel and my pro probiotics. And then... I, I get up. As I get up, if my bowels are not moving immediately, I will immediately go and start walking. But many times my bowels move, so I go out to my um, to um, move out and then to, 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 to go to the toilet and then I now do some praying while there and then I get up, check my phone for those who might have early morning emergencies that I will need to work on and then I come out and I start taking my walk. So what works best for you? Your own might be lunch time. Maybe when you wake up, you're already taking care of the children very, very fast. Me, all my children have grown up. I don't have anyone at home. So it's only me and my husband. So I have my time to myself somehow. So I don't have to rush out any morning. I'm not going to work anywhere. I'm not working for anybody. I work from home. I work for myself. So my own is flexible. So I've decided early morning, that's when I do my work. And then late evening, when just as I'm making dinner, I start walking up and down. If I put something on fire, I'll come out to the pasture again and I'm walking. So what works for you? Your life is peculiar. Your life is unique. You're, 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 you're um, wonderfully made by God. And you need to find out what works for you. So you make your routines interesting. And try, you know, to um, work out where you can see greens, where you can see nature, depending on what is most accessible to you. Like for me, I have a lot of greens. And then, um, in those days, I used to go out a lot, outside, outside the compound to walk about. But now, because I want to meditate, I want to, you know, think, I do it in the past year. I still have greens in the past year. Sometimes, I just walk out for a few, my five, ten minutes, just to see around the compound, see my gardens and things like that, and I come back. So, what works best for you? You need to find what works for you. And then, if um, your arthritis is so much that you're already using crutches, or walking poles, okay? Then even with those crutches, that's why I drew even somebody who has that pushing wheel on my adverts. You can still walk. I know that many times you try to walk to go to toilet, to try to walk to do things, but then building like a routine exercise, even walking with that, that helps your mood, it helps your emotions, it helps you to know that you're doing work. Because when you're just living a daily activity, normal things that you're just forced to do is not the best. Like I always tell people, even if you have somebody who is already bedridden, ask the doctors, is there any exercise we can do on this bed? They will advise you because there are, I showed us bed exercises the other time. Okay? With the help, even if the person is bedridden, with your help or help of an assistant, you're able to move. So... You can also try, um, like for people who work for long distance, I have a, a mentor that works for kilometers and he uses a pole so that he'll be able to support himself, even as old as he is, he still does it because he's been doing it all life. So if you find out that you're getting tired, you can decide to get a pole that you can use to support yourself. But you, walking is very, very important. It's a very good exercise that can help. So no matter what, you need to walk. Now, the second tip for working with arthritis is tracking your activities. Hello, Jennifer. You're welcome. Welcome, Esther Samuel. Welcome, Felicia. We are welcome to this morning's broadcast as we're looking at the five tips. 
the first tip that I said is number one, you need to start slowly. Every little step helps. Okay, start very with every little step, every little activity you have to do, and then you start growing. And then the second one is to track your activity. And a good way to help you work, get working part of your routine is to set goals for yourself. You need to set goals for yourself. Now, and there's no time, there is not something higher you can do. Don't stop at where you are. You need to keep getting better. You need to keep getting fit. You need to keep getting, looking better, looking younger. And working is part of it, okay? So, for example, a 10 minutes work every day, or you set a distance that you will achieve every week is very important to start with something and then you now increase maybe after one week that you have done 10 minutes you do 20 minutes you know like that so you can track your activity also using like pedometer which calculates the number of steps you walked and the total distance you covered or you use some of these free apps they have like a uh, fitbit like map my way you know almost phones Samsung um, Health also, they have all these things that you can use. So you need to track your activity. Have, even if you don't have a notebook, but it's always good for you to have a notebook. When I started, I tracked my activity. When I walk, I check the time I start. I check when I stop. And then when I found out that I'm able to down do 30 minutes very comfortable, I moved to one hour. And then I started bringing in some fast walk and fast runs in between. So that you can actually, walking is one of the best exercises the cheapest exercises you can have okay so you need to track your activity then number three choosing the right shoes what shoes are you using i have a lot of footwear that i use for workouts and you know the best choice of footwear for your everyday short walk will be a comfortable shoe which will support you so if you have trainers or you have maybe like your um, sandals that you can hold that can help you or you even walk with your barefoot, okay? Like people who have um, very serious arthritis, especially during cold season, and those who arthritis are especially linked to cold, I even advise them to walk without shoes on a morning sun time so that they can get three things in one. They have vitamin D, and then also the, that the warmth can go in, and the sun shine in their body, and then, the, you know, feeling the environment, the nature there's something about nature how nature helps you and then number three also so that as they are working there's something one science has found that, that barefooted walk on like concrete cement or things like that there's a way it helps passing some of those um kind of heat that can help go in gradually and bring that kind of better blood flow that will help those arthritis especially for those who have arthritis of the knee the ankle you know and things like that then you also need to find out what works best for you the kind of shoes that work best for you if you use any shoe and it pains you then you have to stop it i have a few like the one i'm wearing today now and i can wear it the whole day and i'm very comfortable and i'm okay the only problem i have with it is that if it's very sunny it can be a little warm okay but people who also have arthritis warmth is also important so you also need to find out read about footwears uh, food care and then find out what works for you and for longer if you're going on longer work like um if i'm traveling like outside i like wear, wearing my trainers like this one i'm wearing and one other one i can wear it whole day and i will not feel especially the other one i can wear it a whole day from morning till night till the next day and i'm not feeling it because that one allows air and things like that so you need to find number tip number three is the right shoe Tip number one, like I told us, is starting little gradually and making sure you put in all the activities every day. Tip number two is also getting a track record. Find a way of tracking what you do. And number three is finding the right shoe. Hello, welcome Ginika. You're welcome to this morning's broadcast. Ginika is one of my 100 influencers. I'm not talking so much about it now because of time. But then I'm still raising 100 global influencers, people who use their talents, their hobbies, their passion to touch other people around the world. And social media has made it so, so easy for us. I'm here in Iba for my city and I'm reaching so many of you that I don't even know I've never met. And that's what I'm training you to do, using your hobbies and your talents. And not just to touch those people, to make money again for yourself. Having it as your second stream of income, extra stream of income or retirement plan. Okay, or even a project, you can decide, I want to buy a car today, so I want to join the 100 Influencers Club, 
and save the money I make from it for one year to buy myself a brand new car. So there is something for everyone in Global Influencers Club. And if you want to join the Global Influencers Club, Club chat me on my WhatsApp number, okay? My WhatsApp number is plus two three four seven zero three five one five one six four two plus two three four seven zero three five one five one six four two and i'm going to pin it thank you guinea for <laughs> chatting once they greet i'll remember if they didn't greet i will not even remember again <laughs> all right hello welcome caroline you're here well wow. god bless you caroline elizabeth Ogolu, you're welcome manda you're welcome welcome to this morning's broadcast so choose the right shoes stay till the end i'm still going to give us some kind of um i'm still going to share with us the fit formula I'm going to share with you the fit formula for working. That's the last thing we will do today. But like I said, number two, track your activity. Number three, wear the right kind of shoe. Number four, you know, is your clothing. It's also very, very important. You know, if you don't wear what excites you and what is nice, especially for those of us who are taking long walks, when I travel out, because many times at the houses in the Western world, they are not very big. It's only even the American um, houses you might find where to walk within the compound but these ones I always walk outside so you need to wear what is good I can remember the last trip to um, um, America it was really hot so one of the days because I was like hey I don't know how the weather was I suited myself as I walked for five minutes I ran back inside to go and change and wear something light so you need to check the weather and then know what you can wear especially if you're taking long walk because the right kind of clothing will depend on how far you are walking, will depend on the weather, will depend on the terrain where you are walking, okay? And it's always a good idea to, especially for those of us who are walking out during rainy season. You know why I'm saying this? It's good for you to have a target. Not that you have set out to walk, then you now see rain, you run back inside and that's the end for the day. If you know it's rainy season, set out very well. If it means having your backpack with you, and putting your raincoat or your umbrella so that when it starts raining all those drizzling and the rest you don't run back inside you continue and finish your purpose because your work is a project it's something that can help you with your health it's something that can help reverse arthritis and so many other diseases you're having and also give you better health okay so it's always a good idea to prepare and know what to carry for those of us who don't have compounds at home and you're working out and even if you're in your compound and it starts drizzling you don't have to run back inside but if there's heavy rain, then you should make an alternative arrangement for that particular day for how you will walk. Then also for those who walk during winter, you need to keep warm. Because there's no need going out there to um, help something, get fit, get healthier, and then you're catching cold. So what to wear is tip number four. It's very, very important. And then again, another tip that you need, if you want to carry a few essentials, like now, like I talked about raincoats, talk about um, your umbrella or water always remember that anytime you're taking your walk if you're walking outside the house or wherever you must have your water I've already done a video maybe I'll redo that video like two years ago where I talked about the importance of water while walking but one of the major ones is that it keeps your mouth not dry or dehydrated and then it lubricates your joints as you're walking out, blood is flowing. And as you're drinking water, you're also helping yourself. Now, I'm using big bottles of water because I noticed that my water intake reduced. I don't know why. Maybe the cold or all the aces I stay. So my drinking water reduced. So now what I do, I use 1.5 liter to track myself. I've already finished my um, one bottle. Today this is the second one that I'm already taking and it's, it's not yet 10 a.m. Because two days ago, I, I went out from morning till night and I did not drink my normal quantity of water. So what did I do? As I checked my urine, I didn't like the color. So I'm not trying to flush, okay? Which is something you need to track your, your system. So you need to use a good bag if you're going out. And the best one is your backpack. If you use your backpack, to carry your few essentials like your water, your raincoat, your umbrella, your cream, your aloe heat for your walk, okay? Backpacks are very, very handy, especially the little ones because they leave your hands free. And then the weights are evenly distributed when you wear them well at your back. 
and the correct fit is also very important because they are carried on the shoulder but are supported by your back and your legs and other muscles so make sure that this stripe of whatever backpack you're using is bold enough and is foam so you don't begin to develop some kind of shoulder issues okay so the best bag that can be adjusted to suit your suit your shape and your size is the best if you're taking a long walk or outside walk that you need a bag then another tip number six is you should not forget to stretch you need to add a few stretches and strengthening exercises to your working routine this will also help to ease the stiffness and strengthen your leg your back and your core muscles so you need stretch exercises alongside your walking if you're working for 30 minutes put in maybe like 5 to 10 minutes of stretch exercises within your work time because it's very very beneficial for you every day and for your everyday living and stretches also will help balance your balances and also improve your working and then again you need to check out exercises specifically for healthy joints and check out exercises that are done specifically for maybe your back your knees your hip your feet and your ankles stretch exercises i've done a few on my page you can um you can type stretch exercise on my page and you will get some of these things some that are dedicated i've done some that i told you guys about your upper side okay your knees your hip your ankles you need all those stretch exercises to add them in your routine working exercise and then tip number seven. Oh, you're back christiana welcome 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 <laughs> All right, so you need to, to, to build in a working workout routine, okay? Working routine considerations that you need. You need to, like we all, I told us before, working is very, very important. It can actually help someone with arthritis. It's one of the therapies. Remember I said, use your aloe heat lotion so that you can stop the pain if it's mild. And if you're having very serious arthritis, the one that is not this one we're talking, get your aloe forever move and your active HA and they are still going at that 25% discount so that you'll be able to give lubricate your joints you'll be able to give the food this is food for the joint and cartilage that's what we have specially formulated for reversal of all those arthritis that you're having and stopping it and also prevention remember prevention is safer Prevention is better than cure. So if you have a history of arthritis in your family, your mother, your father, your elder ones are already having it, then it's better for you to at least stay on only active HA as your normal daily supplement. So that you can give that your joints the food and not degrade at all or not degenerate at all. So you need to do that. Then also working will also help you to lose weight. Remember that weight is one of the highest culprits of arthritis. If you have proper weight, you will go a long way to be reducing your issues. I have someone I'm counseling now, and she even said, she said she went to the doctor, she's due for an operation, and the doctor said, even before we will do this operation, you need to reduce your weight, because weight is part of the thing, causing this arthritis to, you know, aggravate and also not to reduce. So working will also help you to lessen your stress of your joints, improve your arthritis symptoms, okay? And working is free. For everyone, so you are able to do it, you're able to do it fast, slow, according to your own pace. So I'm going to the fit formula now. I'll give us the fit formula for working. All right. Hello, Allah BC, you're welcome, welcome. Excellent morning. Help me share, share, share. And if you have not um, clicked on the follow, follow and like my page, and also help me to share my page link to all your friends so that they can also gain in this teaching all right so when you walk think about the fit formula anytime you're walking the fit formula should be in your head and the fit formula is f is for frequency how often do you walk i am um, i is for intensity how fast do you walk and t is for time how long do you walk so how often do you walk how fast do you walk and how long do you walk that's the fit formula. So when you walk or you start any physical activity, start at a low level and then increase slowly over time. 
I'm saying this because sometimes you come in with that push and you want to do all you can at one minute or in one day. It's not about how much intensity. There is also something about timing and duration and frequency, okay? So try to do, um, trying to do too much or too fast can lead to injuries and that will now set you back instead of moving you forward remember my story that i will never forget when i wanted to start losing weight you know i came with all so much intensity so much um i started watching youtube for all these first people that were doing exercise and one of the ones that they said could help you lose weight so fast was climbing mountain and i started climbing doing climbing mountain exercise until i sprained my my ankle when I sprained my ankle, I was off every activity for three months. That's why starting small gradually is very, very important. Then when you are ready to increase your activity, you change to another, you know, intensity, another um, higher form that you need. So frequency, go for a walk every day. That's the fit formula. Frequency every day if you can. But if you can't, then make it three to five days a week. But aim at working every day, having your work ex working exercise every day. And if you're just starting out, then you can only do like five minutes and then increase to 10 minutes and then 15 minutes until you start doing like two hours, even four hours. I know someone who works for four hours every day. So because he has that time. So what works for you, you need to start gradually, but make sure the frequency you, 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 you go on with your frequency. Don't make it erratic. Don't make it an event. It should be a lifestyle. Okay. Working should be your lifestyle. Hello, let me see you're welcome. Then number two, I intensity. Aim for moderate intensity, covering two to three miles in an hour. Okay. So, and, and I, if, even if you don't have anything to check, your time take your e right there in your house in your sitting room if that's the only way you have take your tape rule or ruler measure it when you measure it know how many is it 10 meters is it 20 meters when you measure it and know it then walk when you walk on that place you now find out how long did it take you to cover that 10 meters or 20 meters okay so you will now use that time and then now set out your own time. You don't have to go and start looking for any uh, new cometer <laughs> that they will call it. You can just use your own sense and check so that you will know what you're doing. But of course, our phones have all these things and they are easy. If you put the app on your phone and you hold your phone as you're walking, it will tell you how many meters you have covered. And you can use that to now check what you're doing. Okay, your heart and your breathing rate should be getting faster, but should not still, you know, um, be it so fast that it's uncomfortable. You need to build up the working success, your intensity. So when you increase your intensity, you will notice that your heart is beating faster. Okay, and then you maintain at that before you now go higher again for a higher intensity exercise. It's very, very important. And then T is time. You need to aim for like 30 minutes to one hour every day as your goal. Normal stable go for everybody that is up to 35 and above, up to 77. You should be able to work like 30 to 1 hour every day. And if you're just starting out, like I said, you can start with 5 minutes and then increase the time. But at least, when they say you're now, now at a normal average time, it should be between 30 minutes to 1 hour every day. And then if you want to increase intensity and be fit and be better, and do more things you can increase like some of us to two hours four hours those who are doing four hours but gradually increase your time until you reach your goal you need to have a goal that you set for yourself and gradually increase that time until you reach that goal and then counting your steps can also be a great way for you to make working part of your everyday routine okay aim at six thousand steps per day and then keep in mind that most of us already working maybe like 3,000 to 5,000 steps every day during our normal activities for people who move around, people who go out. So at least you should aim at 6,000 steps every day. But for those of us who work from home, don't even count because you might find out that throughout the day you have not even done up to 2,000 steps. And that's why it's very, very important for you to build in your working routine morning and evening okay so that by the time you work morning and evening most especially for those of us who work in offices or places where you sit 
You find out that you might not be able to get that 6,000 steps a day. And so that's why it's important for you to also put, use your feet um, and walking steps apps on your phone so that you'll be able to get all those walking steps and know the steps you are taking every day. But remember, always build slowly. Build slowly. I will never stop saying this because when you enjoy yourself, you will not be able to now do that whole exercise. And if you're getting, you're just getting off your couch, try walking program, especially for those who have already had arthritis for a very long time and they're just getting up. Then you need to try all those exercises I taught you, lying down, sitting down, and then I'll show you one today. But remember, before, don't stay with pain. When you have serious pain, it can lead to secondary diseases like high blood pressure, diabetes, and other things, insomnia that can come if you're staying with pain. Staying with pains are not very, very good. And that's why I still recommend that you get your Forever Move and your Active Aging, which is still going on 25% discount still this year. I don't know if I'll be able to do that next year. So you have an opportunity to buy yours. And most of them have up to 2025 or 2024 expiry date. So it's, it's a very long span expiry date. But if you're having arthritis, I want to show you some exercises you can do. If you're having arthritis or for an elderly person that might not be able to move out far, like this is the chair, let that person hold hand on the chair. So if the person is holding hand on the chair, and then the person can start like walking in one spot. This chair helps. So you can start by counting, I'm walking, but I'm walking on one spot. You can start by walking on one spot, holding chair to support. Especially like if the person is having the pain on the right knee, then he puts this chair on the right knee to support. So that the right knee moves only gradually, but he now moves um, the other legs more, okay? And only the slow way he can move this one, let him just move this one whichever way it can move. And sometimes, he also to help this other knee, holding this chair, staying on one, keeping the left leg down, he can just move this right one. But of course, first of all, if it's somebody who is having very serious arthritis, hold your aloe hip lotion, massage that knee very, very well, up to the, the whole leg. You can massage using the whole leg, right? starting from the hip, Massage all the way to the, massage also the thigh, massage the knee, massage, you know, the legs up onto the ankle. And when you have done that massage, let the person now hold the chair. Okay? This chair supports. And then, keeping this leg down, starts moving this leg gradually and taking the counts. Moving this leg gradually and taking the counts just to help this leg. And then he can now also try, he moves this, put this down, uses this to support, and then moves this. Even if he needs putting a second chair here to help, let that person start, okay? Start moving gradually, and then checking the time. He can move for five minutes to start today, and then he goes to rest. He comes back the next time or in the evening or the next day and does it for like 10 minutes. Just still, still. And then gradually he can now start moving forward and backward, still in one place. Okay? That same leg, moving forward and backward. And as he's moving it, he's trying to raise and then come down. Trying to raise and then come down. All this brings that activity and allows better blood flow on those sides of the body and those sides of the Nibia is having serious arthritis already. So as he's moving this, he can now decide Another, remember I talked about having your goals and your targets. You can now move from staying in one place to moving one step in, okay, forward. And then you can now start by moving his one, two steps forward and then one, two steps backward, back to where the chair is. Always having a chair or a wall to support himself. When he finishes doing this, he can now start also moving some more steps until the person graduates to when he will be able to now start walking and taking that walk for some minutes outside in the place so like i said there's no excuse 
for anybody to stay still and say you cannot walk. We can all walk. No matter the age up until 90, 80. Some people call me and they say, oh, my mother in the village, she's 90. She can't walk. You need to teach her these things. You need to show her these things. You need to encourage her so that she can move. Staying in one place is not very good for anyone. It's like dying gradually. So no matter what the pain is, no matter what the disease is, no matter what it is, as long as the person is not bedridden, you need to introduce walking. You can walk on one spot like I've shown us. And as the person is going, also train and teach the person on increasing the target. Daddy, today we are going to walk in one place, okay? After this walking in one place, we will do it for three days then. By fourth day, Daddy, we will take three or four steps, okay? And bring that encouragement, bring that reason, show the person. And the person, by the time he does it for one month, he will begin to know, oh, I can do this. And he will begin to improve what he's doing. So for those of us who have our elderly ones that give us an assignment today, please talk to them about this video. You can share this video with them or you call them on phone and talk to them about it and gradually follow up. Remember, that's also been an influencer. At least the Bible says when you, you, we should preach the gospel starting from our Jerusalem. At least start from your own parents, start from your own neighbors, start from your own relations who are having a try to start talking to them start helping them start showing love start improving lives you know of people that are around you from there before you now begin to talk about going global with me wow chipola says my under my under my feet is pain, paining me especially when i walk at distance you need to check what is happening because it could be that you're already having some kind of arthritis there. So um, you need to check why, why, what is happening. Find out why it, okay, you said this when you take long distance walk. So like me, like I tell us, my auto heat lotion is always with me sincerely. She was, uh, when I'm traveling, I make it, when I have tedious time, I make it my cream. This is practically my cream. I rub it all the way from every part of my body, except in my face. I rub it everywhere. Now, if I'm going to be out for a long day, I massage. I use it to massage and then make sure, again, chips, another thing you need to check is your footwear. What footwear are you wearing? Like I told us, okay, the trainers, let me pull it off and show us. The trainers I'm, I, I'm wearing now, I use it when I'm going on long walks. I use it a lot when I'm going on long walks, okay? That's the trainer. And I got a pad for it to pad it again. Okay, so that when I'm going on long distance, I can wear this the whole day, I can walk anywhere, and I'm not going to have that pain because I'm, I've chosen the right footwear. And you do this by finding out what works best for you. I find out that some of my slippers, even though they are comfortable, if I walk long with them, they start paining me, my legs start paining me. So I have to, if I'm going on a trip, I leave off my slippers, I wear my trainers. If I'm walking for a long time, I wear my trainers, they are better than um, slippers. So Chibuzo, find out what your footwear is. Make sure you massage yourself ahead of time. Prevention is better than care. Don't wait until that feet or ankle or knees start paying you. Do that massage and let the aloe heat and all the substances, those natural um, ingredients they have permeate and go and massage and keep your, your, your joints ready for the long day. Hello, I'm Jody Janet. Good morning. So if I don't have any other question, I might will call it a day now. Thank you for joining me. On Monday, we are also going to be coming live your way by 8 p.m. And I'm also starting a new series for housewives. You know, we have a lot of us who are sitting at home and call us housewives. So I'm going to start housewife series, but that housewife series is not open to everyone. It will only be for those who are really housewives and at home because the timing we will choose will be the time for us as housewives that have the time and um, it's not going to be a Facebook program, it's going to be a closed Zoom meeting because we're going to be talking to ourselves on so many things that we need to improve in our lives. So if you want to join the Housewives Forum, you can also chat me on my WhatsApp number and then I'll put you in that group and then we normally meet face to face, see ourselves and know ourselves. All right. Thank you all for joining me today. I hope I greeted everyone. 
if I didn't greet you, know that you're watching a replay so you can put hash replay and greet me and then I can come back and also greet you. Olavisi says housewife and retirees. Yes, okay. <laughs> Thank you for putting that for me. Housewife and retirees. Okay, I'm going to change my my invite to housewife and retirees. So retirees are those who are finished working at the Alan Lato. So we are having a special forum for us, a special forum for us to help ourselves and help our economy and help our life, okay? Health, finances and things like that. So it's a special forum, like I said, it's not open to everyone. I'm not going to have those series on Facebook. It's going to be on closed meeting, Zoom meeting. And then also telegram so that those who join us later can see what we have done so if you want to join the housewife retiree forum <laughs> chat me on my whatsapp number plus two three four seven zero three five one five one six four two and promise me you're going to share this video with someone with an elderly person who will be able to gain what i have talked about working is very very important Working is one of the best things that can happen to you because like I said, it will help keep your joints flexible, help keep your bones, benefit your bones and not make them go bristle or having osteoporosis. It reduces the risk of osteoporosis and it also has an impact in your general health, especially your weight. Thank you for joining me again today. God bless you all. Bye. See you on Monday. Love you. Bye.